from Psalm 97. He that love the Lord hate evil. He preserveth the souls of his saints. Light is sown for the righteous, and gladness for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, ye righteous, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. Before this God of holiness and mercy, we come in silent prayer to beseech his blessing upon our worship. Beloved in our Lord Jesus Christ, our help stands in the name of Jehovah, who made heaven and earth. Grace, mercy, and peace be granted unto you from God our Father, from our Lord Christ Jesus, through the operation of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We're going to change a little bit the order and selection of our Psalter numbers this morning. We're going to begin with 125, 125 versification of Psalm 45, the church which is the bride of Christ. This is a partial versification of the text we're going to consider this morning, lifted from Psalm 45. This has to do with the church. The first section has to do with what you see in 124, which focuses upon Christ, the promised Messiah, as the great bridegroom. So let's begin with the first four stanzas. The first four stanzas, 125.
At this time, we pay heed to the law of God as it was spoken by Moses in Deuteronomy chapter 5. When Moses called all Israel and said unto them, Hear, O Israel, the statutes and judgments which I speak in your ears this day, that ye may learn them and keep and do them. The Lord talked with you face to face in the mount out of the midst of the fire. And now notice these words in introduction. I stood between the Lord and you at that time. Moses representing, remember, Christ. To show you the word of the Lord, for ye were afraid by reason of the fire, of which they were worthy, of course. And went not up into the mount. So the Lord talked with me, saying, I am the Lord thy God, who brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. Thou shalt have none other gods before me. Thou shalt not make thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the waters beneath the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself unto them, nor serve them, for I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation them that hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Keep the Sabbath day to sanctify it, as the Lord thy God hath commanded thee. Six days thou shalt labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou nor thy son nor thy daughter, thy manservant nor thy maidservant, thine ox nor thine ass nor any of thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates, that thy manservant and thy maidservant may rest as well as thou. And remember that thou wast a servant, or if you will, a bond slave in the land of Egypt, and that the Lord thy God brought thee out thence through a mighty hand by a stretched out arm. Therefore the Lord thy God commanded thee to keep the Sabbath day. Honor thy father and thy mother as the Lord thy God hath commanded thee, that thy days may be prolonged, that it may go well with thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Thou shalt not kill, neither shalt thou commit adultery, Neither shalt thou steal, neither shalt thou bear false witness against thy neighbor. Neither shalt thou desire thy neighbor's wife. Neither shalt thou covet thy neighbor's house, his field, his manservant, his maidservant, his ox, or his ass, or anything that is thy neighbor's. The Spirit of Christ, working in Moses, then says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Thou shalt love the Lord, thy God, with all thine heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy might. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, shall talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, when thou walkest by the way, when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. 